same session or is this going to be a new session? No, well, I have we, a red all, dot. we all got the red dot and it says actually recording. So, yeah. Welcome to this week's third attempt of making a half pint. <laughs> <laughs> It's a lucky number, isn't it? <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, we don't know yet. <laughs> it still says zero uh, percent uploading. I don't know what that is. Still? No, now it's ninety nine. Woohoo! Yeah. Ooh. Yay! <laughs> All right. So, uh, I mean, I've I've heard about other podcasts uh, losing recordings every now and then due to technical issues, and we have just been very efficient and we've done two in a row. <laughs> So. Yeah, but we only lost one third <laughs> each time. Different thirds, though. Yeah, so we we have still yeah. uh, the total only lost two thirds of a half pint, which is not a full episode. So we are very well off. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can't do fractions that that long at this point. So, guys, how have you been <laughs> the last couple of days? <laughs> I mean, the last half hour since we last started the recording. <laughs> yeah. 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 Have you been? Have you, have you made anything since then? Yeah. 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 <laughs> a number one very crude mistake. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> yeah. So, do we, uh, should we re- relive some highlights? That's the thing. It feels weird going back, trying to remember what we just talked about and oh, talk yeah. about the same yeah. thing. So for all you listeners out there, we're going to spare you that. So what else can we talk about? I'm generally feeling old because I calibrated some headphones the other day. And there was, oh, you are going to play some sounds and tell us which ones you hear. There were a lot of them I didn't hear, but I know that, yep, <laughs> now you're making a beep and I can't hear it. God damn it. <laughs> you guys what, are doing, I mean, we, doing all right with the age thing, though, aren't you? You're not wearing glasses like me, reading glasses. I, I Reading glasses I, I need because my arms, yeah, yeah I, when I have space, it's fine because my arms are long. But when I'm reading yeah. on the train, I need glasses <laughs> yeah. because it's so cramped. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it's literally funny. The day I t- Go on, carry on. No, sorry. The day you... I was going to say, literally, the day, the, day, the day I turned 40, I needed glasses. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, it's, it's funny you should say that because I... I mean, I'm in the last couple of years, I'm now into that phase where you're reading books every night to your kids and... Here the other day, I realized that if I put it too close to my nose, it's like, this is not comfortable to read. I can still read it, but it it doesn't focus like 100%. So I need to take it like a few centimeters back. I mean, I still have a lot of arms left until <laughs> then. <it's, laughs> yeah. uh, but then again, I've also, and this started several years ago, but I, I don't like driving in the night time in the rain anymore i'm one of those if we are at some place uh, drinking wine eating cheese and like people oh we should dim the lights and make it cozy <laughs> then i have to sit there and squint and look angry why can't we put the lights on i mean we're we are not 16 years old 16 year olds that's going to sit in the couch trying to make out in the dark i mean we are adults uh, having a few hours off from our kids we can sit there in the light but no i hate it when <laughs> so, they put a candle in between you i'm like a moth i can't stop looking at the candle and then i look up and i've got orange spots in front of my eyes so i get rid of the candle <laughs> I have the, almost the same, but there is something about me and flames. Uh, I can't stop touching it, and then I want to play around with uh, the candle wax and whatever, and uh, suddenly it falls over, and I put something on fire, and it's, uh, yeah. So, <laughs> no live lights, please. <laughs> you have to get a special insurance before you go to a nice restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Go yeah, back lighting to the... candles, yeah. Going back to the uh, reading, Havard, you you seem pretty much finishing your first book on YouTube for YouTube. You sent us some pictures the other day. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Yeah, we mentioned it in yeah. the last episode. Of course, I, I made a 
a children's book for my kids basically and i i printed a few of them and i gave some away to some friends and i spent a couple of days um adding background pictures and uh freshening them up uh and then of course uh making them ready to put some english text on them and doing a voiceover and i've become really good at photoshop since the last time and photoshop has gotten better as well at uh, generating backgrounds and effects and so on so i realized it's almost nine years i think since i made the first draft drawings so i'm getting really pleased with the result so i'm, I'm thinking my voiceover is probably going to be the thing that really <laughs> <laughs> B- butchers the entire endeavor yeah but it looks the, really good uh, back- backgrounds so, are they um, ai generated they're cool yeah i back when i did cartoons i i just realized at a stage that i like to draw the main characters and getting the point across um but i have some friends that do cartoons for a living and they spend a lot of time detailing the background. And I realized I'm just focusing on on the setup and the delivery of the punchline. So I don't sit around watching too much in the background. So why do I spend two thirds of the time making a, a comic strip, just adding details to the background? So I started just... I mean, if, if I'm drawing a character sitting in a living room environment, I just took a picture of my living room and then I just uh, put some filters and some effects on it, reduced some colors and made it look a bit cartoony, but in a different style. So it's, it's in contrast with the hand drawing in the front and that became really good. And of course I, I like to take pictures and has for many years. So I have a, a image bank, but at some point, you need other pictures. Uh, if I, I drew a sequence of me being in the kindergarten, and you and you want like uh, a background picture of a uh, like a kindergarten's play area with the swings and so on, and now I can just go into Photoshop and I can just mark the area in the uh, the background, and I can just start typing. I want a, a swing set in the background and some green grass and some mountains, and then it starts just giving me various options and i can just all right i like that one and i want you to take that mountain and into that and so it takes me roughly five minutes to get a background that i'm pleased with and then i do the same thing i've always done to pictures and adding the same filters and tweaking it so it's really been efficient because i don't have to search for pictures to match the background cool. anymore i can it just looks, ask it looks for really them. nice so. as well yeah all the drawings are very good so when uh, when are we expecting a release Oh, it's going to take me a few weeks. Um, I mean, I never thought about doing this ever. So, of course, all the text is in Norwegian and there is a bit of slang and uh, references that doesn't translate directly in English. So I have to have uh, uh, the wife to look a bit at the linguistics part of it and doing the recordings and being pleased with them. I think I'm going to spend a lot of time with that. And of course, yesterday I finished all the pictures and I just dragged them into Da Vinci. And of course, I didn't think about uh, making a YouTube video of these drawings. So the format doesn't match the 1920 times 1080 resolutions of a movie. So if I have to crop the drawings, I I cut the head of the characters in some... so, So I need to go in and tweak them a bit and move them around. But I mean, all the... All the pictures are layers, so the hand-drawn drawings are the front layer, and then I just add layers behind, so it's very easy to crop and yeah. make it fit. But it's it's some fiddly work. It's going to take some time. Sounds like it's going to keep you busy. What's going to keep you busy for the next week, KJ? <laughs> uh, well, all the... Uh, <laughs> I felt that all, all the garden projects that I'd more or less started but need to need to continue with because it feels like every everywhere I'm I'm looking in the garden it's oh yeah there I started digging there and started that over there I started clearing that edge over there and so I have to <laughs> not start anything new and try to finish some stuff and not have half cleaned patio and half yeah 
it's a lot of starter you, things because not, starting is fun. You're not very systematic at working your way through the garden, then. No, I'm more of that. Oh, I have five minutes over, and I'm standing right here, so I start doing this. Uh, yeah. Because I'm I'm here with the kids, and then the kids move away, and then I have to follow them, and then I start something else over there. <laughs> I, I, I blame that at least. <laughs> I'm. Um... I don't think I'm going to start any new projects just at the moment. I actually, if the, if the weather's nice, I'd actually quite like to get my own garden straightened up. That might be a nice way to spend this weekend. And I don't want to do any editing until the uh, my new computer arrives. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I think That's I might nice. have the weekend in the garden. Hopefully. Yeah, that sounds nice. I, it's it seems like we are actually having the same uh, weekend project. Uh, the three of us. I mean, I'm planning on finishing some of the things i've started in the garden of course it's uh i got optimistic here with the first days of sun and then it, it just dumped <laughs> uh, a whole lot of snow on everything but uh, yeah. now it's thawing again and I, I start to finding the tools that are left <laughs> <laughs> so it's time to start cutting again <laughs> yeah turn the water on again <laughs> yeah you still Still picking up all the cat poo in the garden, or did you get all that sorted? Um, I think I've got all of it, on, unless I I lift on something, and uh, yeah, uh, no, I, I think I've gotten everything. Uh, and we did discuss with the wife that we should make a list of what we need to do this summer because we're we're building a new patio. We need to do that, and we had the contractor dig up half our garden last year so we have to do something to look make that look pretty but we also need to build a, a new stairs from the one level to the next where we actually dug a, a new pathway and so on and we need a plan so that we can actually uh, work uh, systematically on something and just tick it off and uh, of course there's still going to be a lot of ad hoc projects that never gets finished but uh, i mean at least you have a plan to deviate from. <laughs> yeah. Did you ever? It's good to start with that. Did you ever finish the gang? The hallway. And with that, we end <laughs> this week. Uh... <laughs> well, if it makes you feel any, if it makes you feel any better, Michelle started ours and challenged you to a, uh, a finishing it before, and she's still not finished ours either. So. <laughs> <laughs> so you have a chance. Yeah. No, there's um. There's still some. Oh. <laughs> oh, we have the we have the door trim and the ceiling trim left, and I have been looking at it every time I go out the door, obviously. But I, I would like to set up the the saw uh, in a nice weather day outside so you could just go in measure and uh, hold it up and just go out and cut now i have to run through the house and uh, sneak it into the workshop and then cut it and then run back up again and of course it's wet outside and you have to take off your shoes so no yeah. i'm waiting <laughs> so it's a poor excuse yeah. but I'm, I'm sticking with it <laughs> but it's a good excuse i use it myself Oh, but yeah, I'll send Michelle a picture when it's done. <laughs> <laughs> Are you hoping this episode will be the kick in the butt she needs to finish it? Um, let's hope so. <laughs> 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 I mean, she finished the, it's the uh, hallway landing, and she she got the paneling up in the first week and weekend, and that was painted. And then she went great guns for the following week and got all downstairs painted in the hallway. And then it's leading up the stairs and onto the landing. And we got the kitten and we she decided, well, we decided it would be a bad idea to start painting with a kitten around, you know, gloss paint on the skirting boards and things. And then a kitten rubbing up against it and spreading that around, that'd be a bad idea. But we can't just put it on hold until the kitten dies because, you know, that's hopefully going to be quite a few years <laughs> away. <laughs> Yeah. Although then we'll he's still a knobhead, so it might happen sooner than he thinks. <laughs> <laughs> but that that's the issue, though, uh, in the the gang. Um, we also have the door leading downstairs. And, of course, when I'm doing the trim work, I at some point I'm just going to 
probably swap that door for a new one because we are planning on doing that on all the interior doors in our house. I think it like it's six or seven doors, so it's a, a relatively doable job. But that got me thinking as well. We have sliding glass door in our like um, garden, uh, outdoor, in glass shed, uh, summer, <laughs> whatever it's called. <laughs> uh, and right before the snow came, I was just uh, in the winter time. We put the bicycles and so on in there, and I just saw a rose on the window, and it's it's tempered glass, so I like what is this? And I just put my finger and it's like, and it became like a billion small pieces and like, okay, um, I need to start cutting some cardboard because I'm not going to change this during the winter and I don't want the cat to start living in here. Um, so that is a project that I need to tackle soon. And of course, uh, we've had them for a couple of years uh, and there was nothing that have touched it so uh, it's probably a defect uh, and i called the company and yeah there is a warranty on everything <laughs> but the glass and of course uh, when i started reading the paper <laughs> yes it's, it says that with fine prints and but it's like it's like Worth 70 it. times uh, 200 centimeters glass and if you're gonna get just a glass uh it's more expensive than all the doors when we bought them as a kit. Um, and they don't sell spare glasses, but they can sell you the entire door panel. But that is also crazy expensive. It's like $300 for that. And it's just some aluminum profiles with yeah. some poor made glass, obviously. So I'm, I'm thinking, all right, maybe I could swap that glass with like a an acrylic uh, plate or something like that because that is something I can easily cut myself and just slot in. I can just remove the pop rivets on the bottom part and just slide in a new one. But still, it's relatively expensive getting a is plate it, of that dimension. So, uh, no, no, it's a one single... And the panel of glass. Can you yeah. not take? Can you not? Is there not clips that you can release from, or is it all sort of sealed and glued around the glass? Or what's the problem? Can you not just get glass from somewhere else? Oh, it's it's actually it's not it's not glued. It is a gasket, and of course, it's held together with. Uh, I'm not sure if it is pop rivets or if it's actually screws you can take out. So it, it's yeah. relative. It's easy to dismantle it and put it back together. Uh, but it is getting that glass. I I checked with a couple of companies that delivers glass and getting one sheet in that dimension, it's, of course, more expensive than just buying the new door from the company. But I still feel that's expensive because then, I, then I'm going to have a perfectly <laughs> fine door frame there without the glass, and I still would like to scratch that uh, itch of just replacing the glass. I mean, I do like to repair things, yeah. just not buy new one, but it's... <laughs> It's hard when the, the the making part, repairing part, is more expensive than buying a new one. But I think I'm going to yeah. feel better about it just repairing that one. So take a course in the stained glass <laughs> window making or something like that, and do it from small pieces instead. No. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That that it's. <laughs> That's that's one thing I want to do actually. Uh, a, a former colleague of mine, she's a pensioner now, but um, we were sitting in the lunch one day and we were talking about uh, everything. And then it turns out that she has, I mean, she's been a bus driver and she's done this and she's done that. But what she started out with was an apprentice at uh, like this lead glass. Uh, like portraits so she's actually been working for churches repairing all those uh, stained glass uh, what do you call them I don't know uh, but uh, yeah uh, she have all the equipment and she has lots of lead and uh, everything and she really knows <laughs> how to do this and I like I at some point wanted to make at least one of those 
window frames with like the lead inlays and the coloring and so on just to have done it to see if I can pull it off and now I also know someone who not only have the tools but is actually decently skilled at this so uh, yeah it's on my list on someday just like uh, <laughs> is it available to for a couple of hours lessons a few days a weekend to just get me going and That'd maybe cool. I can borrow the specialist tools if I need it so uh, Maybe now now's my chance. Maybe I should. Especially get, if there uh, was something that that really spikes your interest, and then you start stained glass all of the windows in your house. <laughs> yeah. And you run out of house, you can start on the car. <laughs> yeah, that oh, would look awesome. Oh, the wife's gonna be happy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that would be fucking brilliant. Might be hard yeah. to roll them down, yeah. but yeah. Yeah, but I mean, the, the rear window, I mean, you can tint yeah. them and do whatever you want cool. to them, Stay and glass. you don't need to roll it Church down. Church so, yeah. reveal. You can make a, <laughs> like a lead stained glass, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then you get the funeral cross on the top. Oh, I mean, oh, <laughs> that was... Yeah. In, when I was re... The skylight is the best one. Yeah. I was too... I was too young uh, to be drinking, but I mean, uh, it, it was really fun for me and my friends on our bicycles to go down to the, the community center and just like early Friday evening when uh, the grown-ups uh, started driving around uh, in their cars and playing music and drinking. And it was uh, exciting for us kids to watch. And this one guy had a, a old beat up, mercedes uh but this was it was the stretched kind so it was a bit longer than the average one and where they got it i did not know but they got this magnetic <laughs> light cross that you put on the top of funeral cars when you go in like the like for a funeral <laughs> and of course they slapped that on the roof and they were just driving around <laughs> playing music drinking on a, like a black stretched mercedes with that lighting cross on the top and it's like yeah that that made the local newspapers because some really reacted negatively to that so, <laughs> so yeah i mean going the full church mobile uh, maybe drop the cross on the roof <laughs> that being said a friend of mine sent me a link a few years to uh i think it was a volvo station wagon but it's the extra long one it was actually used as a hirsch hers yeah uh and it's like this would be brilliant it has low mileage it's cheap and it's only been used yeah. on sundays and uh of course you can get a full sheet of plywood in there uh, and it was decently powered as well because it's it's rebuilt with like the the, the full slide out drawer in the back right so I mean, it's brilliant yeah, yeah. for tools and you you already have a, a working table there. So you just drag it out and then you can do welding on the go and whatnot. And of course, we started thinking and I realized, well, <laughs> it is nice to have a subwoofer in the car. What if you make that look like a coffin? <laughs> so you could just drive around <laughs> with the coffin in the back. And I mean, you can use that for cargo and so on. So you just pull out the drawer and open the lid and you just push your backpack and your groceries in there. And <laughs> your tool chest. Yeah. If, if I get a hearse, it's, uh, I'm definitely going the Ghostbusters route. Yeah. <laughs> get, the, uh, get the funny sirens on. I think that'd be well cool. Of a Ghostbusters car. I think I would. I loved seeing the videos of um, Laura Kampf when she modifies her car. And of course, we bought this car, at least my car, uh, not that used because uh, we wanted something that uh, had the, the proper uh, fittings for child seats and so on. So it's still a decent car, but at some point I'm going to end up with an old banger because I'm going to use it for uh, hauling uh, tools and uh, sheet plywood and so on. And I'm really looking forward to that because if I have an idea, <laughs> I mean, I need a holder here so I could just drill four holes in the bonnet and put in some pop rivets here and uh, making a cup holder there. And uh, so I'm, I'm looking forward to having an old banger I can just uh, modify. Oh, the problem is you get an old banger and you fall in love with it and then you don't want to have yeah, so that you, you, it, 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 it's, it's a hard because it's it, been scratched up. It, of course, that can happen to any yeah. car, but of course you need to get one that you 
it's hard to fall in love with. But I mean, I guess it, it's like your own kids. I mean, you're gonna end yeah. up loving them no matter what. So. <laughs> 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 I mean, no matter who you're asking, everybody have perfect children. But if you're looking at others, that that doesn't add up. <laughs> at times, perhaps. So, what should we? Uh, I mean, is this enough? Is this enough? Yes. I mean, we've done a fifteen-minute one before. Yeah. yeah, and we have recorded several hours of half pint, so uh, <laughs> of course uh, it's not oh, it's I not our fault that uh, we only got it going for the last fifteen minutes. <laughs> oh, okay. We we learned a lot this week. I feel yeah about recording. <laughs> oh no, no, we'll do it all again next week. <laughs> yeah, most likely. So yeah. <laughs> well, then we'll see if we actually learned anything or not. Or maybe it will happen yeah. again in three weeks when it's my edit again. So then, uh, then it's me. <laughs> <laughs> and for some reason, you're always on the recording. Hmm. Hmm. Kind of suspicious. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if I'm, uh, I mean, now we have the one without KJ and we have the one without Glenn. And then if I just lose you in this episode as well, I have three recordings with only me and I cut that together. Then I got a. <laughs> like a only me half pint <laughs> talking about three different topics Best in half parallel pint ever <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> we just realized i sound, think... i sounded like bender in futurama <laughs> 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 do you think a side have changed the settings or something because you used to be able to leave and then just re- rejoin didn't you yeah unless yeah. it is an, an update that Riverside has done, but I, I'm using, um, I'm still using KJ's uh, burner account that he made for me uh, the last time. So, but it worked brilliantly for the last recording. So, mm-hmm. I mean, the one with Chloe on. So, maybe it's Chloe. She not. did something before she left, and, and now. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> um, you still using that account? <clears throat> How is it giving you three? Three tracks each time, then. I don't know, but it does. Oh, or okay. I mean, except for the last couple of times now, but it has only given me two <laughs> tracks. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's weird. Maybe that's the problem. Yeah, <laughs> everything Maybe. is weird. So just hit M so we know if it works or not. Yes. Yep. <laughs> so thank anxious. you guys for listening on our third attempt and uh, you should just be glad you didn't have to listen to the two others and then uh, have a oh, good they night. Were crap. They were yeah. crap. <laughs> crap. We just ranted about them. So yeah. Good night. Bye. Bye. <laughs>